Listen, bro, Madden 23 is about to come out and I want to buy one person an Xbox Series X and one person a PlayStation 5. So we're doing a huge giveaway, bro. All you got to do to enter is follow my Instagram right here at Eli.Mac. Go follow my Instagram. Go show some love, you know what I'm saying? Like some of the posts, go comment on some of my pictures. But the main thing is to DM me, bro, and tell me why you like watching my videos and tell me some things that you enjoy about watching me, bro. And yes, I'm going to be replying to some of those DMs, most of them, bro. If I see it, I'm going to reply to it. But all you got to do to enter, bro, is just be following me on Instagram, bro, and DM me and show some love, bro. So go ahead and do that right now. PS5 or Xbox Series. Series X coming to two of you guys. And the giveaway ends on August 16th when Madden 23 comes out, bruh. So, hey, man, go run it up, man. Let's get into this video. Yeah, yeah, you see the bird on my helmet? Yeah, we going back to the NFC. E A G L E S belt on my chest. We the best in the entire league. Yeah, the Mac Daddy got two rings, so it's time to get another one. Yeah, I do it for Philly. I'm loving this city. Let's make a Super Bowl run. Yeah, yeah. Yes, before we start this damn video, I know Eli, bro, why are you wearing a New York Giants jersey? You literally play for the freaking Philadelphia Eagles. Blah, blah, blah. Shut the freak up, bro. I get to wear what the freak I want to because I want to, bro. Listen, I am a Giants fan in real life. You guys know, you see it everywhere, bro. And I know I'm playing for the Eagles, but like, bro, I don't know. Sometimes I just want to wreck my team. Like, bro, like, am I a trade? All right, go in the comments with me. Am I a trader or not? Just ignore the jersey, bro, but just pretend it's an Eagles jersey, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I can't afford the Eagles jersey right now. You know what I'm saying? You need to start watching the videos, getting them ads going again. I ain't gonna cap, bro, because I can't afford the Eagles jersey. But I do got this Giants jersey I bought a long time ago when I was getting to the bag. <laughs> but now all jokes is I bro, smash that like and that sub. We're gonna roll to 500,000 subscribers, bro. We are literally at 499K, which is absolutely insane. But right before Madden 23 comes out, which is good, man. I'm super excited, bro. Not only that, bro, check me out. We have two more games left in the regular season. And a lot of you guys know, I might retire after the season. I'm not too sure. A lot of you guys are telling me not to, so I actually might not, but I don't know. But first thing first, bro, take a look at the screen. You see it, bro. Keeps when you see we are the number one team, bro, in the league standings. That means we are the number one team in the NFL. According to our record, we are the best team in the NFL. I haven't did something like this in a long time. I think the last time I did this was probably like three or four seasons ago when I played for a different team, bro. We was number one, one undefeated and stuff, bro. But literally, bro, I have not been a number one team in a long time. You guys know, bro, it's been so tough for me, bro. When I was on the Panthers and a whole bunch of L's and just a lot of losses and losing and stuff, bro, that happened, bro. But finally, bro, we are back and MD3 is playing some of the best football of his career right now. And I'm absolutely loving to see it, bro. As you see, we are 12 and 2 and 1. We would have been 13 and 1, but we know we ended up getting a tie. So, you know what I'm saying? A lot of you guys are telling me, thanks for all the comments too i see you guys in the comments telling me like what a tie is you guys are telling me a tie isn't a win or a loss it doesn't really matter so it's all right though i was mad about it at first but now i'm not that mad at it but if you look bro as far as our division we are obviously not only the number one team in the league we are the number one team in our division which means we're definitely gonna make the playoffs but if you look the cowgirls <laughs> yeah i said the cowgirls not the cowboys boy they are freaking 10 and 4 and 1 right so they have a tie too that tie was to us they are the fifth best team in the league so check this out bro we have two games left if we lose our next two games we'll end up being 12 and 4 and if the cowboys win in their next two games, they'll be 12 and 4. So the thing is, like, bro, honestly, bro, we can go from number one and we can drop all the way to like number five in a matter of this episode, bro. So hopefully we can come out here and get some dubs. The good thing about today is that we are playing up against the worst team in the NFL today, which is the Washington football team. As you see, they're the 32nd team in the league. That means they're the worst team because only 32 teams. They're three and 12 on the season. They're absolutely trash. And as you see, the Giants, bro, my favorite team, but they're not playing the best. Eight and seven. We just ended up beating them. They're the 15th best team in the league. So we right now are the number one team. <coughs> Damn, guys, my bad. I'm still sick. We're the number one team. We're about to play up against the worst team in the league right now, bro. So check this out. Hopefully, we come out here and get some dubs, bro, because I do not want to drop. If you look, bro, I'm the 10th freaking best quarterback in passing yards and the first best quarterback in freaking passing touchdowns. But I have the most passing touchdowns in the NFL right now and the 10th most passing yards, which is a good sign. So, boom, let's go ahead and get into it, bro. We're playing up against the freaking Washington football team. Like I said, they are the worst team in the league, but it's weird because they are 90 overall. They have, I think they have the highest overall in the NFL. But they have the worst record and they're the worst team. So that just goes to show, bro. Overall means nothing, bro. It's all about chemistry and what you do with your squad, bro. And obviously, they're not doing the best. So let's come out here and play because we're at 89 overall, bro. Hopefully, we get a big dub today, bro. I'm trying to go freaking absolutely insane. Let's get right into it, man. All right, man. We are coming out here, bro. Listen, I'm just like, I don't know, bro. I got a freaking like overwhelming feeling of excitement right now, bro. And that's just literally just coming from the fact that, bro, we are playing a man. Look at the freaking boy, David Kelly, bro. Just stuff like that right now, bro. Like, oh, my God. Get up. Oh, my God. Wait, what the freak? I thought he was about to get up. Oh, my God. My freaking receiver, Carlisi, got hurt, bro. But listen, bro. I don't know. I just feel something special coming, bro. I genuinely feel like a Super Bowl is definitely bound to happen. Like, I think we're definitely going to win a ring this year. I don't know why. I just feel like that. But I can't get too caught because anything can happen. You know what I'm saying? But 
definitely like we're the number one team in the league right now the only like i don't even if we lose these next two games i don't even think it's a possibility that we won't make the playoffs because our record are just so good unless we lose these next two games and a bunch of like different teams start winning we could easily drop you know way down anything happens so i can't underestimate anything right now you know what i'm saying at this point we just got to just continue to play good football see play good md3 is coming out here playing amazing i love to see it i love the way he's been playing recently bro it feels like i'm getting back to my old self and i'm able to run that ball again bro you guys understand bro like i have not been able to run the ball for like the past two seasons and i thought it was because i was getting old and you know partly of it is that you know what i'm saying i am not as fast and not as strong as i used to be like that's just like a fact you know what i mean but i think a big reason why i wasn't able to like do what i wanted to do is because of the team that i played for right and you know what i'm saying it's like they say this thing in life like you are who you hang around right like if you hang around four millionaires you're most likely going to be the fifth million if you hang around you know four broke people who complain all day and don't do anything with their life you're probably going to be a fifth one you know what i'm saying so like it's the same thing with sports, bro. Like, if you're on a team with... Oh, my God, I almost do a pick six, but that would have been a pick six, too. He would have definitely took that back to the house. No cap. Big third down and three. Let me lock in right now on this third down, trying to get this first down before I continue talking, just because, um, you know what I'm saying, this is important. I want to keep the drive alive for sure. B. Oh, it's a flag, though. Oh, good catch. Damn. What was the flag? I think it's holding. Oh, my God, bro. Stop holding all the time. You guys are freaking idiots, bro. I don't, I don't understand the human psyche of a, of a player. Like, if you were in the National Football League, why are you still holding, bro? Did you not learn how to block when you were in... Free like peewee bro like i could block better than these grown men i swear to god but like these guys are freaking oh my god and they're wide open for the first down too easy and more actually i think i'm gonna go for more i think i'm gonna fight for it let's go and do three good stuff bro good thing i didn't fumble too bro damn bro see my jukes aren't really as good as used to be bro if that was me a few years ago bro i would have definitely broke his ankle bro you know what I'm saying he would have been freaking on the floor ankles bleeding bro freaking popped out of his freaking socket bro stop playing let's come out here and get a touchdown right now but get this thing rocking let's go somebody get open rb box so too easy my boy david's right let's Bro, we're playing up against the worst team in the National Football League right now, bro. And it's absolutely showing with the way that we just marched down this damn field. We had one third down that was looking like it could have been bad. But other than that, bro, it was super easy to get down there and score, bro. Let's keep it up. They just came out and they scored a touchdown as well. <sighs> like I said last episode, bro, I genuinely hate teams who suck so bad that they're not going to make the playoffs. And they still try very hard at the end of the season against teams who are trying to make the playoffs. Like, bro, why are you? Let's go good catch, my boy. Oh, my God. Think about it, bro. If, if I'm playing against you and you're not going to make the playoffs, right? And I am like, I'm not say, say like you can't make the playoffs. Like there's no, absolutely no chance you can, but I can if I win, but you know what I mean? Like you still gonna be like, you know what I'm saying? No championship. Like you still gonna be mad as hell at home, bro. Crying, you know what I'm saying? Complaining, wishing that you broke. Oh my goodness, bro. I got freaking tackled, bro. That's the thing, bro. They got, they got a really good defensive line. I'm telling you, they're 90 over. They have a solid team. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God. He got his X Factor activated too over there, man. Chase Young. All right, man. Big second on 21. You know what I'm saying? I obviously want to come out here and try to get a first. Somebody get open. Nope, I'm running myself MD3. Don't get hit by Chase Young. Do not get hit by Chase Young. I'm going out of bounds. I'm not going to let Chase Young hit me, bro, because that guy can hit very hard. I'm not trying to fumble, bro. I have three rushes for 80 yards. Like I'm saying, bro, I'm able to run the ball with my feet, and I'm doing it at an efficient rate that I haven't been able to do it in so long. And back to what I was saying earlier, bro, before I scored that touchdown, bro. Generally, bro, like, it's the same thing in sports, bro. When you play for a team that is, oh, my God, people. God, I saw you. Damn it, bro. But when you play for a team that's really good, you're most likely going to win. For example, look at Kevin Durant. He went to the freaking, um, you know what I'm saying? He went to the Warriors and he won a ring. Now he's not on the Warriors and he'll probably never win a ring again, unfortunately. You know what I'm saying? Like, but when you play with good people, that's what happens, bro. People who play with LeBron, you know what I'm saying? They tend to get more wins than people who don't play with LeBron. It's just like simple, bro. Good slide. We ain't taking no hits by three people. Hell no, nah, not me. MD3 is playing amazing. Four rushes, 108 yards. I love the way we're playing football right now. I really do, bro. 40 seconds, uh, 40 seconds left in the first half. But try to score another touchdown before the half. My boy Austin Cooper, freaking security blanket. Good touchdown, bro. You see the bird on my helmet? Yeah, we going back to the NFC. E-A-G-L-E-S spell to my chest. We the best in the entire league. Let's go, bro. All right, man. Right now, we currently have the advantage. We're winning this game, bro. You know what I'm saying? We got the ball at halftime, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's currently uh, third quarter right now, bro. We're winning by four points. All we got to do is continuously run the clock out. My boy David Kelly's doing pretty good on the run game, so that's why I'm going to start feeding him a little bit. But if he starts playing bad, I'm going to just go ahead and you know take matters into my own hand and run the ball myself. You know what I'm saying? You know how I'm coming, bro. Hey, listen, bro. You guys listen to NLE Chopper, bro. I just watched an interview with him. Bro, he said when he was like 17 years old, he signed an $8 million record deal. Jesus Christ, bro. AMs is nuts. Let's go, bro. That's all you. Let's stop playing. Let's freaking go. Good catch, my boy. But, bro, let me know in the comments, bro. What, if you had $8 million, and I want you to be honest, because I hate when people be like, I would invest it, or I, I, I buy my mom, give my mom $7 million. Like, bro, like, stop the cap, bro. Like, what would you actually do? Like, if you would genuinely give your mom $7 million, then be real and tell me that. But don't just say that to sound cool. Like, I know with some of you guys out there, if you got $8 million, you'll spend $7,999 on Twinkies and give a dollar to your mom. So stop capping, bro. Tell me the truth what you would actually do with the $8 million, you know what I'm saying? For me personally, uh, I guess this is kind of cool. I guess I could, you know, tell you guys what I would do because, like, it's kind of already what I do with my money and stuff. But um, definitely just investments, you know what I'm saying? Uh, SEP IRAs and, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, uh, 
go, 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 go. Let's freaking go, my boy. But long-term investment, you know what I'm saying? IRAs and, you know, just like investment accounts and, and stuff like that. I don't want to speak on like everything I do and stuff and all the stuff I have because, you know, like some of it is kind of crazy to speak about. Like, bro, there's certain things, but like, I'm going to teach you guys a lesson too, but like, I'm going to let the clock run out go to the fourth quarter, you know what I'm saying? But like, bro, there's certain things that like, how do I say this? Basically, bro, when you have a wife or a girlfriend, just do not tell them all your investments, bro, because they will kill you, bro. <laughs> you feel me? I done seen some things on Lifetime documentaries, bro. They will off you and they will, you feel me? Just be careful, bro, you know what I'm saying? That's why I ain't gonna speak on everything, but definitely just like investments and, you know what I'm saying? If you ever do come across a lot of money, bro, I, I highly recommend, oh my God, bro. Let's go, every three, way to break that tackle. What the hell am I throw? Oh my God, throw the tackle, for the throw, for the touchdown. Oh my God, that's one of the highlights of my career, bro. That was crazy, breaking off the freaking sack to throw it for a dotty touchdown, bro. I don't know, if some of you guys ever start to YouTube and you guys start to actually make some bread, bro, hit me up, tap in with me, bro. I'll give you guys some solid advice on what to do, because, um, you definitely don't want to blow it all, man. This, this is a very, as a rocky career, man. You know what I'm saying? There's up and downs in it, so you want to like do, do, the, do the right things when you do jobs. Good stuff, my boy. Let's freaking go, bro. Too easy. That was a hell of a stiff arm. Jesus Christ, did y'all see that, bro? God damn, bro. He stiff armed him. Bro, y'all got to rewind that, bro. If y'all ain't see that, I ain't going to lie, bro. That was absolutely insane. And we out here, bro. We about to score another touchdown, bro. Stop playing. Hand the ball to my boy, David Kelly. David's freaking vital. Let's go, David's vitals. David's vitals. Let's freaking go, my boy, bro. Stop playing with him, bro. We too lit, man. I swear to bro. I swear we are too lit, bro. Stop playing with us, bro. We literally gonna definitely make the playoffs, bro. We're not taking no L's on the rest of the season, bro. All right, guys. I ain't gonna lie, man. Take a look at the screen, bro. You guys see all the celebration going on, all the litness, you know what I'm saying? A whole lot of stuff going on. Listen, bro. You see MD3 right here throwing the damn ball, bro. Throwing that damn ball and, you know what I'm saying? He's just thinking, man. I gotta tell you guys something. This might be my final game ever. My final regular season football game ever in my entire career is MD3. Most likely, I don't want to put it like a definite thing, but I think it actually is, bro. Cause um, I don't know if I should do another career, like another season after that. It depends if I win my Super Bowl or lose my Super Bowl. Like if I win, I might gotta run it back to back or just join another team and try again, just to try to get to seven rings. You know what I mean? And you know, be up, be up there with Tom Brady as much as possible. But if I end up losing, bro, like if I lose and I don't make the Super Bowl, I'm not gonna lie, bro. It might just be over, bro, because it's too stressful. Bro, damn, they on me, bro. They sacked me in one second. I ain't have no time to do shit. Damn, bro, they need to learn how to block, bro. Jesus, that was crazy. I ain't gonna lie. That was, that was really good defense, bro. Oh, my God, I just realized I'm playing them against my old team. What the freak, bro? Playing them against the, my old bum trash team. This team is trash, bro. What the freak? They actually suck so bad, bro. Playing them against my old team, the Carolina Panthers, bro. It was so much stress playing with this team, bro. So many freaking ups and downs. Mostly downs, though. I'm not even gonna lie. Let's go to three. Touchdown. Pop. Bro, too easy, bro. We turned up. Yes, Cersei. MD3 playing amazing football right now. I love to see it, man. All right, bro. Seven is it. You know what I'm saying? We winning this game right now, bro. It's just so crazy to think this might be my last regular. Like, obviously, we're going to go to the playoffs, so we're going to have more games. But it's crazy to think that this is my last regular season game. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, bro. Maybe, though. Like like I said, I don't know. I don't want to lock it in because I don't want to make some of you guys sad. I know you guys are going to be sad if I retire because it's MD3. He's a legend. You know what I'm saying? Go in the comments. I think. I think MD3 was way better than Mac Daddy Jr. You know what I'm saying? Let's freaking go. Like, as far as Madden 21, I think MD3 had a way better career with just, like, more lit than Mac Daddy Jr. I don't know if anybody will ever match up to the original Mac Daddy from Madden 20. I can't lie. Like, I think I had, like, 160 episodes in. Like, that was... I don't know if anybody ever match up to that. You know what I'm saying? But, um... You know, definitely close. MD3 is definitely close. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely fun. You know what I'm saying? A lot of good times and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? He's a legend. You know what I'm saying? It's my dog right here. That my dog, for sure. That my dog. Me and my dog, we gave him two in a row. Me and my dog, let's go. We gave him two in a row. Yeah, thanks for keep on calling, calling. Listen, bro, second quarter right now, bro, seven is zip. We definitely about to make it 14 to zip right now because we're definitely going to score, you know what I'm saying? That's just like a given. It's just a hundred. Oh, my. oh, yep, MB3. Woo! Too easy. Oh, my God. Two rushing touchdowns on the day in the first half. MD3 is literally the guts, my friend. No one can stop him because he is the best. Listen, bro, my last regular season game so far, bro, I think it's going to be. And what better team to do it on than the team that my great-grandfather, the original Matt Daddy, played for? And what better team to try to win a final Super Bowl with than the team that my freaking great-grandfather won a Super Bowl ring with, bro? The Philadelphia Eagles, bro. E-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles. You see the bird? on my helmet uh we going back to the nfc 
E A G L E L spelled on my chest. Be the best in the entire league. Yeah, let's go, bro. Let's go. Handleball to my boy David Kelly again, bro. We're in the red zone right now. You know how we coming. Let's go. Good little spin move, baby. Yes, Sersky. Let's go. Two minute warning, bro. There's only two minutes left in the fourth quarter, bro. They're gonna start to waste their three timeouts, but it's too late. It don't matter, bro. It's absolutely nowhere they're gonna make a comeback. The reason I say that is because we're definitely gonna score right here. It's gonna be 21 to zip, and they're gonna have no timeouts, so it's gonna be a dub, bro. Let's freaking go. Big third down and goal. Get in the end zone, baby. Get in the end zone, Davis Bridal. Let's freaking go. Way to die for it. That's why I love him, bro, because he fights for every freaking yard. He's probably the best running back I've played with in my entire career, bro. And that's no exaggeration. As you see, we're in that winning formation. Time to take a knee. We go into the playoffs once again. This might have been my last time playing a regular season game. But it is okay, because Madden 23 is going to come out in a few days. And guess what? What? Making a new character, man. And it's gonna be crazy, bro. <sighs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'll get to it all in the when, when I retire. It, it might not even be the season. This might not be my last weekend. I might surprise you guys and just come out and just, you know what I'm saying, sign with another team and, and, and run it up one more time. But you never know. Anything happens, so stay tuned. But, you know what I'm saying, I just have a, a, high, a big feeling that this might be my last game. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and finish this game. Let's see who we play first in the playoffs, bro. You know how we coming. Jesus Christ, man. Akeem, if you zoom in on this, it was 5-12 and 12 on the season. Damn, the Panthers are some trash booty thrackouts, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Let's go ahead and advance to the next week. See who we are playing in the playoffs. I I know we're not in the wild card, so it's gonna say we're not playing anybody yet, see, because we're not in the wild card. Let's go and advance to the next week, divisional championship, and see who we are actually playing. First game in the playoffs, bro. Let's see who stands in the way of us and the Super Bowl. The Seattle Seahawks, 10 and 17. Oh my God, bro. This is crazy, bro. They got a nut it, bro. They have a really good solid team. I'm not gonna lie. I think, bro, I think we lose to them earlier this year. They're actually a very, very solid team, bro. But if you look at this playoff, bro, we got the Cowgirls over here. Oh my God. Guess who's not in the playoffs for the first time, surprisingly? Bro. The Jacksonville Jaguars are not in the playoffs. Wow, that's actually crazy, bro. Damn, okay, so the Jaguars aren't in the playoffs. But if you look, though, um, you know what I'm saying? The Chiefs and the damn, some, some good some good teams up in here, bro. It's going to be a tough one, man. Let's get into this joint. It's going to be a lit one, man. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, bro. It might be my last freaking preseason, I mean, regular season game of all time. But I love you guys so much, man. It's your boy Eli Mack. Game, game.